Cervical spinal cord injury, SCI, is an injury that makes it hard to move the muscles in your arms and legs. Surgery may be an option to improve arm movements, but surgery can be time sensitive. Each person's journey is different, and deciding on the right treatment can be difficult. Let's look at spinal cord injury in the neck and unpack the main ideas, the anatomy, treatments, and timeline. The spinal cord is a bundle of nerves that connect your brain to your body, sending signals back and forth. <gasps> nerves in your body pick up sensations from your skin and send that information to your brain via the spinal cord. Your brain sends signals through the spinal cord to nerves connected to your muscles and tells them to move. Injury to the spinal cord breaks these connections between the brain and the muscles. The higher up the spinal cord injury is, the more muscles will be affected and won't receive messages from the brain. The cervical region of the spinal cord is at the neck. This region is divided into eight levels, C1 to C8. Injury to this region results in paralysis of the legs in addition to the arms. Treatment options depend on the pattern of your injury. For individuals with an injury at the C4 to C8 level, surgery may be an option. This could take the form of a nerve transfer or a tendon transfer. Surgery can help improve movement of the arms or hands. The types of movement that can be improved are elbow extension, wrist extension, finger extension, and pinch and grasp. Let's look at the difference between a nerve transfer and a tendon transfer. In nerve transfer, the surgeon uses a nerve from a functioning muscle connected to your brain and reroutes it to supply a non-functioning muscle. Say you want to improve pinch and grasp. To do this, the surgeon looks at your elbow flexion, which is powered by three different muscles. If you have strong elbow flexion, the surgeon can use the nerve to one of these muscles and redirect it to the non-functioning muscle used for pinching and grasping. Over time, the nerve grows into the muscles to give some pinch and grasp function without losing the ability to flex the elbow. A tendon transfer is similar, but instead of moving nerves around, the surgeon moves tendons of extra muscles that are working to the tendons of muscles that are not working. Tendons are like ropes that connect your muscles to your bones. When a muscle gets the signal to move, the tendon moves the bone along with it. Say you want to improve your finger flexion. The surgeon can use an extra tendon from a group of muscles that extend the wrist. The tendon gets moved to the tendons that flex the fingers, and finger flexion is improved without losing wrist extension. Depending on your anatomy, injury, and goals for recovery, you may be a good fit for nerve transfer or tendon transfer, or both. There are differences between nerve transfers and tendon transfers in terms of outcomes, post-op care, and time. A nerve transfer is better for fine movements, while tendon transfer tends to provide more strength. Nerve transfers take less time to heal, but it takes longer to see improved movement. Tendon transfers take longer to heal, but it takes less time to get the movement. Both surgeries would need you to avoid putting weight on the surgical area for some time. The best time for nerve transfer is within 6 to 12 months after injury, while tendon transfer can be done at any time. In the majority of individuals, nerve transfers are time sensitive because the loss of connection between nerve and muscle leads to muscle degeneration. We have looked at how the brain sends messages through the spinal cord to nerves connected to your muscles and how tendons connect your muscles to your bones. We have learned that both nerve transfer and tendon transfer surgeries 
move working connections to non-working connections, and both can help improve arm and hand movements. Remember that these options can be time sensitive, so talk to your care team about meeting with a hand and nerve surgeon to see whether a nerve transfer, tendon transfer, or even both would work for you.